The B-29 Superfortress wasn't just another bomber. Hidden inside were the extraordinary technologies that would launch the space race. It cost $3 billion in 1940s money, second only to the Manhattan Project itself. You probably know it carried out firebombing raids across Japan and dropped the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But the B-29 was more than destruction. It was foundational for engineering in the decades to come. It was the first combat aircraft with pressurized cabins, letting crews work at 30,000 feet without cumbersome oxygen masks. Its defensive guns were controlled by remote turrets linked to an onboard analog computer, one of the first distributed fire control systems, automatically adjusting for range, speed, and deflection. After the war, B-29s became motherships for rocket planes. The Bell X-1, the first aircraft to break the sound barrier, was dropped from a B-29. These test flights pioneered supersonic flight, high-altitude research, and the foundations of spacecraft design. The Soviets copied the B-29 bolt for bolt, creating their Tu-4 bomber. From there came the R-7 rocket, the launcher of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin. The line runs straight from the B-29 to the first human in space.